Hello, it's me, the D Star. <laughs> and today we're playing Nation State. So my nation is called the Knights of Me. And it's a dictatorship, even though he just says it's a democracy. You gotta make sure you don't say the word. And here's our leader, obviously. You'll get it if you uh, watched Monty Python, the Holy Grail. Oh yeah, my brother's here. I guess I'm... He's probably gonna be annoying through the, uh, the entire video. So we're doing issues... <laughs> doing issues and stuff. So you just basically read the issue. And then, uh, find an answer. After a prominent artist was arrested for attempting to chisel the historic frontage of a particularly ugly courthouse into a sculpture, architectural bonds and aspiring artists have petitioned you to renovate crumbling government buildings. These old buildings are ugly and falling apart. Ben Moen's aspiring artist, you Garrick, while painting new dot work of you as a form of protest. Interesting. <laughs> if you let artists redesign our buildings, even amateurs, I guarantee the future of our nation will be more colorful, creative, and interesting. All you need is a lot of permission and lots and lots of paint. Why trust these amateurs when we could when you could hire real professionals? Well, says world renowned architect and CEO of Bay and Associates Architect Rodana Mc. McKay, while making the final touches to a scale model display of futuristic looking the Knights of Knee City. As the head of our experienced architectural form in Knights of Knee, we are the best choice for renovating the government buildings of our nation. Not only will we have great designs, we will only use the most modern materials available. Well, of course, there's some considerable money involved, but think of a new fiberglass palace and futuristic offer. A beam suddenly falls down and destroys the model city, resulting in the octet letting out an angu ang ang anguished cry. <laughs> bah! In, com in communist East Lubbock, buildings redesign you. I don't think I want to be re redesigned by a build. Why fix our buildings at all? No, I, I want to fix our buildings, but I don't want to waste that much money. So, let's just go with this one. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, what will happen? 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 Artists from across the nation compete to renovate the restrooms of old government buildings. Fitness craze sweeps nation again. Tourism industry breaks its fun flux. School bans chess as too confrontational. Oh, yeah, you gotta ban that chess. Archaeologists on North ancient remains. Okay. Back to my issues. Song bars decline ruffles fed us. What's going on here? All just and bot enthusiasts alike are squawking over the recent yearly declines in the numbers of many migratory song bot species. <clears throat> Particularly the Knights of Knee Breagle. After some study, the unifying factor in the bot species experiencing declines at the migratory path takes them over Tasmania. Coincidentally, Tasmania is known is known to consider migratory song birds a delicacy. Our cabinet has convened to discuss the matter. Chicken! <laughs> First Tasmanians must be taught a lesson, screeches Tiberius Scholar, hawkish minister of defense who has never found a, a war he didn't like. If Tasmania's utter contempt for environmental stewardship and our nation's well-known love of bats, he pauses as in a tapped on the shoulders of his president. Yeah, he continues. And our nation's well-known love of Song bots doesn't convince you what will. Perhaps military just discarding the precious butterflies through Tasmania might work. If someone tries to so much as lay a hand on one of those flying fish, then we'll bomb them back to the Stone Age. I agree! Let's just bomb them! Bomb them. I'd like to suggest another approach. Cruz, Yolanda, Bannon, a mod Delvish environmental minister. Clearly, we value song bots alive and uneaten. And Tasmania does not. We just need to make Tasmania Enia value song bots as much as we do. What if we estimate the relevant migratory song bot population each year and pay Tasmania a small amount of shrubberies for each migratory bot that makes it here yeah, peaceful and fair? How about none of that? Huh? 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 Clicks Daisy Garfla, eagle eyed finance minister. While pouring over a report on Government revenue collected through coins tossed in wishing fountains. We can't keep frivolously throwing our citizens hard on tax shrubberies. 
you know, the shrubberies at every little problem. But there's some dumb bots. Let's just leave the government out things once. In fact, with less song bots, we can surely cut back our budget for pox a bit. What if we train the bots to stop migrating? No. <laughs> Let's see. I don't think we should bomb them. I think we're going to do peaceful and fair. Let's see what happens. Four nations kill migratory animals at random in hopes that Knights of Knee will pay them to stop. Oops! <laughs> Economist Bull, Little Sean, Knights of Knee, and Economy. Green government going gangbusters. Tarzan Ministry braces for influx. Handrails should not be optional, Connor opines. Oh wow. Attribute 1% of annual deaths to people getting lost in wellness. Support the dairy industry. Develop a pleasant environment in, in a religious nation. Develop a compassionate populace with the nation with a good environment. Combine a healthy populace, civil rights, and an excellent environment. I know we have the best environment. Ooh, cards. Ooh. Let's see what nations it is. The medieval harp of Antwerpia. Interesting flag there. There's Guardian Passage of Nyla. With the flag of Naru. The Republic of Card Farmer 53. That's just uh, a flag. flag. The Republic of the Bowen. E. The Magical Crown Creation of Celestia L41. Okay, pretty nice. Now, one more issue left. What? What? Criminal patterns. Oh, cool. Led by a club of grandmas known as the Naughty Knitters. Interesting name. A new street art sensation has begun spreading across the days of Knights of Neem, called Yarn Bombing by those who partake in it, avid knitters, don twee knitted balaclavas, and take to the streets at night, covering lampposts, railings, and on one occasion a parked vehicle with colorful knitted patterns. We certainly don't mean any harm, pet, claims Kayla Snape Greenlee does the nine as she takes some measurements. We're just trying to brighten up people's lives and bring a little cheer. You should be helping us, not punishing us. How about using some of those taxes we've all been paying to fund Zod and Craft for everyone? My, grand my grandkids just love making finger puppets. Now, what color did you want the sweater, dear? I've got a nice lilac yarn here somewhere. Street art is just a nice way to say anti-social littering in my book, Grim City Mayor. Dave body Bodain. Sporting a well-tailored hypoallergenic suit. The graffiti is bad enough, but I brought people tripping over strands of yarn all the way down the high street. We should arrest these grandmas for making our streets such a mess. I agree. Arrest the grandmothers. Arresting fear old ladies isn't going far enough, because uh, Mr. I've all been planning angrily brushing off some straw rainbow yarn from this leave our coat. We have to ban also called public art walk in order to keep these things like No, I was just going to do number one. I think that's the best, probably. Well, it's easily the best. It couldn't be worse. Um. 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 Okay, here. Your sins are getting harder to read under layers of knitted woolen cardigans. Knights of knee civil rights rose from average to good. Woo, my civil rights rose from average to good. Wait. What? What did you The first one. Um, no basket cases, signs of growth in local craft industry. Archaeologists are not ancient remains. Tourism industry discounts benefit locals. Big business supports government support. Oh. And uh, that's all. So we're just gonna I'm just gonna kind of show you some of the stuff. Let's see. So I see. Mm -hmm. So here's my one fact book. Which is basically just so you can put entries. Nee, 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 nee. That's my policy. So the government power is substantial. Delegate to local authorities. Uh, you, they can legally end the lives. They can, they uh, have no say in the medical use of the wise after death. But I mean, who cares? All dead. Nothing. <laughs> you can't think of anything. Period of military services compulsory for all citizens. Private industry is primarily within the black. The market based economy. <laughs> Cannabis may be legally purchased. No use of WMDs. What is that guy? Okay, heart disease, acts of God, old age. At least old age is number one. Government is mainly 
spirituality and welfare. And it's the least environment. Well, we'll just skip ahead to the we'll just go to economy, just economy. Black market 0 0.1 and mostly private industries and some government on stuff. Okay, and uh, you know, make sure you join North Dakota's leader. Oh, cause uh, yeah, we got some nations in here. We got Edtown. That's mine. Dimitri Banana Company, Guru of Life, Big O, Waterbrush, Knights of Knee, and Markwood. Markwood is, is our sister. sister. And uh, I forgot, what is Knights of Knee's power? Embassies. Embassies. Okay, let's see what's, what's going on with the embassies. Um, let's see. So, oh, duration 10 hours. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, you can accept that. Okay. Accept. Cool. Um, well. Okay. Uh. Oh. Okay. Brother of mine is trying to go back into Okay. If we are South Dakotan, I'm sorry, you can't join. Yeah. North Dakota for life. Yeah. This is just what happens with North Dakotan. So. If we're South Dakotan, you get kicked. Okay. And, uh, so, uh, 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 well, that's the, uh, end. So, uh, goodbye, peace, peace. out, peace. no, get out of here. <laughs>